Hey guys, welcome back to the nature patch. My name is Robin and it is currently around 6.30 in the morning I think on Saturday the 2nd of November and I realized I hadn't done a proper garden tour in ages. So that was the primary reason for making this channel was to document my garden. So I really wanted to do a full garden tour today for you all. Um, so you can see what's happening and what's growing, what I've been harvesting and the things that haven't been doing too well. So thankfully it actually rained yesterday and last night and we're forecasted for a few showers today so a little bit of life and greenery popping up around in the bush and on the grass which is really nice to see. But other than that we've had a little bit of a um, relief from the 40 degree heat that we had a few weeks ago. Um, it hasn't gotten that hot in a while but I think later next week it's supposed to get up into the high 30s. So the plants have been really liking the weather for the past two weeks, so I'm going to go show you how they're all doing. So I'm going to start um, at the back of the house with these two raised beds. This looks directly straight out from my kitchen, so this is what I get to see every morning when I'm making breakfast, doing my coffee. You'll have to excuse my croaky voice because I just woke up and I have a really busy day today, so I had to get up quite early. Um, but these two here I've designed to have this is kind of a herb and greens bed and this to be a flower bed and eventually I'm going to kind of intermingle herbs and flowers in both beds. So in this bed here I have lots of my chamomile. They're yet to open their little flowers up again this morning um, but we've been harvesting some of them for chamomile tea. A lot of calendulas and zinnias and some corn flowers that are hanging on in the back. <laughs> The zinnias have been absolutely stunning. I think these are one of my new favorite flowers. They seem to really like the climate around Brisbane, which is great for me. <laughs> and then in the other bed here, I have some um, borage that has gone crazy with flowers, which the bees have been absolutely loving. And lots of lettuce that exploded and different types of curly leaf and flat leaf parsley over there. Parsley is probably the main herb that I use. And then I've just got some chervil in a pot here. So moving on from those, I'll take you over to the raised beds here. And this is kind of where it's all happening at the moment. So this big trailing plant here is a spaghetti squash and you can, as you can see we have one nice big one already growing. I think I might put some cardboard or something under this just to keep it a bit protected. Um, but other than that in here we have uh, some zucchini. You can see that one's ready to be harvested um, and some butternut squash on the other side. A cucumber vine and another zucchini plant in there with some that are almost ready to harvest. And then continuing with zucchinis and squash, I've also got a big pumpkin over there that I'm just letting do its thing. And then my row of zucchinis here. Some are doing okay, some are not. This one here was perfect and I was just about to harvest it and then I noticed a little rat kind of came this morning and had a nibble of that. But that's okay, I can just cut around that. So that's a grey zucchini and so is this one here. Um, I did have a few problems with some blossom and rot, but I've given them a feed and given them some calcium and a good water. So hopefully that won't happen again. <clears throat> I just need to go through and just trim a lot of the dead flowers off. And then this one here. And my, my climbing beans are doing really well. I can see a few little beans coming there. Um, the only thing and same with my green beans. The only thing with the green beans is any beans that are close to the ground um, get nibbled on by Mr. Rat. So I have to wait till it climbs up a little bit. Um, so as you can see, there's a little bean there. And I'm really hoping that I do get some bees from here. I tried one and it was delicious. So fingers crossed. And then we have my experimental potato pots down here. <laughs> These three here were just experimental potatoes that I got from the supermarket and just planted them in the ground when they started to sprout. Um, so this one here is doing really well. My capsicum I thought was doing well but a lot of them have gotten little marks on them like there and I think this could be due to sunburn or something because it was pretty hot. So I'll see how it goes. 
You'll have to excuse Mr. Crow and a lot of the birds around there are a bit crazy this morning. Tomatoes, cherry tomatoes in this bed going crazy. Kajari melons doing really well. And my basil is also plumping up nicely. I think if there's one thing that I come and pick whenever I'm in the garden every time it's basil because it smells just absolutely beautiful. Other than that, I've got some random assortments in here, a really pretty dahlia that's flowering now. Um, my distortions, spinach that I need to go through and just harvest a lot and some endive back there I also need to harvest a lot. This bed here I need to get rid of the soil because I tried it, didn't work, it's got some disease in it which is really sad um, but that's just how some things go. And then in this big bed here I've got tons of nasturtiums, cucumbers are going insane which I'm loving. I have a little space in there that I'm thinking of planting something else, not too sure what yet, because um, my celery epically failed. And then lots more tomatoes on the side here. And then the last part of the garden I'll show you is the main patch area, which has got the majority of my tomatoes and a few other crops. My flower beds are going okay. I'm starting to get a few cornflowers popping up. But in here, but in here there is an abundance of life, which is exciting. So I'll start up from the back and show you to the front. So, so a lot of my tomato plants in the back will have fruit now. This one here is a German Johnson. And I also planted some more cucumbers to go up this little trellis. I've planted some comfrey there next to another cucumber and I've planted comfrey because it's such a great permaculture plant to have in your garden. So what I'll be doing with that is making some comfrey tea and also just chopping the leaves whenever it gets a little bit too big and then spreading it over the ground as mulch. And that will provide really good nutrients back into the soil as comfrey has fairly deep roots um, that bring up a lot of the nutrients from where, where some plants can't actually access them to the surface into its leaves. So you can redistribute that onto the top of the surface by cutting the leaves. And then I've got a few more tomatoes over there that some aren't doing too well. I like that one there, I need to pull that one up. I got a little bit sick. Um, but these were just my volunteer tomatoes so I don't know what type they are. And the other tomatoes that have got fruit on them are the um, Tigerella tomatoes. These are super pretty. You can kind of see the little tiger stripes on them. So they're going pretty well. Um, and I have a, I also have a Brandywine Red, which I'm not too sure if it's already got fruit fly damage, so I might need to cover that ASAP. Um, and then another volunteer tomato plant, which is starting to ripen. My onions aren't doing too well, but I am just going to harvest them as shallots, I think. Um, but the leeks, I've never grown leeks before and these kind of are starting to look like leeks, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> and my bush beans are doing really well. They took a little bit of time to get established, um, but I will be feeding these because the soil here isn't that nutritious for them. And this is where I've been grabbing most of my tomatoes. These three volunteer plants were the first two fruit um, so I've just picked a big tomato off here yesterday again I don't know what type these are and I've been picking from this trellis down there so I'm super excited for all of the cherry tomatoes that we're getting on this side of the garden my Cape gooseberries are doing fantastic after a nice feed um, and they're actually starting to get it's really hard to see. They're starting to get their little tiny fruits, which are like the cutest things ever. <laughs> My carrots, I'm going to be pulling up this weekend just because they're not growing anymore. It's too hot for them at the moment, I think. And they're just getting stressed out. Same with this zucchini. It's just not really too happy here, so I might pull that one out. Um, and this bed here has another zucchini which is doing slightly better and some more okra. I planted some pepino melons and they're doing fantastic. They don't mind the heat, so they're bushing up really nicely. 
as well as a native raspberry. The capsicums also really don't mind the heat, they've been loving it. And my okra really did suffer from aphids, but since spraying neem oil on it, um, so I think I might do another round of that soon, it has been a lot happier. So I think most of the aphids are gone. So that is pretty much it. That's what's happening in my garden at the moment. It is all really exciting as honestly I've never grown a lot of these fruits and vegetables before so I'm really excited to keep on growing them and keep on feeding them and harvesting them and taste testing them because I've also never tasted some of them before so I think today or tomorrow Scott and I are going to be picking the rest of the different zucchinis. So we'll have four different zucchinis to try and taste test in the video. Um, if he wants to be on camera, I'm not sure if he does. So that should be an interesting video. I do really want to keep doing monthly garden tours because things are changing so much now that it's super warm and we're actually starting to get a little bit of rain. I was a little bit worried there for a second because a day or two ago I was watering every day and that was really just, I was starting to not really like it a lot. And even doing that, my plants were just stressed out to the max with the heat and just the dryness of the soil. So this rain that we've got is super nice and I'm very thankful for that. The sun's gonna come out for a little bit and hopefully we'll get some more rain after that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a bit longer than some of the others, but I would love to see an updated garden tour from all of you. It's probably my favorite videos to watch. So let me know how your garden's going down in the comments below or in a video. And until my next video, happy gardening. Bye.